Hey everybody, what's up? It's Charles Black. So today I'm gonna show you how I expose my screens. So let's get going. Okay, so now that we're here. All right, so I have not had very good luck at doing this. As you can tell right now, I'm in my dark room, but I've had a real hard time getting my screens to expose properly. I don't have the fancy exposure tables. All I have is just a simple bulb, um, the black light bulb that I got with the kit. Found out, realistically, I have been underexposing all my screens. How I've gotten away with the few that have turned out good, I have no idea. Um, last night I was continuously trying to expose some screens and every time I went to wash them out everything all my emulsion was gone just blew it all out so with that said we're gonna go ahead we've got a screen that's all ready to go the emulsions on it it's all dry it's ready for us we've got our print and don't know if you can see this print or not. This is going to be on the back of the shirts that we're going to wear up in Alaska on our fishing trip this year. Um, just kind of wanted to do this for fun. Um, it's actually my dad's boat um, that he has up in Alaska, and that's actually the name of his boat, Tiba Dabo or whatever it is. So we're going to get so we're going to get this set onto the screen. I'll show you how I um, get everything aligned, and then we're going to get it exposed. And bring the camera over here. Probably have to get down here so you can see me. Not sure if you can see me real well or not, but basically the way I've set up my palette, I've got a center line. I've got I actually even screen print my tags, so I've got marks for my tags where the artwork goes for my tags the top of my artwork, and then of course my crest. So I've got everything lined out on here where I need to put it. So it's still a little tacky. I haven't quite figured all this out. I'm still working it. So I'm going to take my image and I am going to lay it down. And again, don't know if you can see it. I've got registration marks that I've put on here just so I can get this all lined up nicely. I like that. That will work right there. I go ahead and put some masking tape on it onto my film. Haven't gotten really good at all this yet. I'm still learning. You're probably seeing me make some horrible mistakes. If you have, then let me know in the comments what I'm doing wrong. I'm open to learning this. This has been quite a challenge for me. All right, now that I've got that down, we're going to get our screen set in place. And then I drop my screen down. Of course, my off contact is not set on this yet. And it did not pop up. I've had this problem because of the tackiness on here. So I usually have an extra screen film that I'll slide under. And then I'll set it down. Yep, like I said, I'm still learning all this. There we go. Now we've got it on there. Get this off of here. All right. Take a look here. We've got our film onto our screen. Move the camera again. Alright, now 
this little light setup I've got. Nothing real fancy. I'll try to get it centered best I can. Sorry I'm in the way of the camera. Make sure we're focused so you can see this. All right. Now I just got to get my phone. So I know I've heard a lot about the different times for exposing. And I have tested this and tested this and tested this and I have washed out several screens I've overexposed a couple screens that took forever to wash out but right now with this light set up centered 16 inches 15 inches above the top of the screen this single light it is taking 13 and a half minutes to expose the emulsion. So, I've got my phone ready to go. We'll go ahead and um, kick on the light and get this started. All right, so we got 13 and a half minutes to let this expose, and then we'll be back. All right. All right, so we're done. 13 and a half minutes. So we've got our screen, it's been exposed. Get our light put back up against the wall. Out of the way. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're going to take our film off. Now I seriously doubt you can see it right yet, but um, you can faintly see the burned image. So, let's go ahead and take this, and I know, let me get over here. No, I can't. Okay, so I know I'm not taking this into the ideal situation. Ideally, I should have a wash booth in the dark room where I can wash the screen out. I don't have that. So... What I've been doing works for me right now. I haven't had any issues. So we're actually gonna take it outside. We're gonna move really, really quick. We're gonna get it outside. We're gonna get it wet. And then we're gonna get it washed out. All right, so we're gonna go quick with this.
All right, let's get lights back on in here. All right, so we got our screen completely finished. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. I do get some of this wash look. Um, everything I've read, it's from the emulsion. They're, the screen's actually solid. We've got one little pinhole. That's all right. Nothing a little tape can't fix. So now we'll get this thing dry. Get the fan on it. Pretty much, that's how I burn my screens right now. Um, keep following me. Uh, do another little video um, when we go to print. Actually, I'm not going to do a video when we print. Uh, I'll just add some B-roll of when I print this. So, other than that, I don't know. But like I said, um, as I get more equipment, as I build this up a little bit, because um, right now I've got an uh, order apparently this weekend for um, some more t-shirts. So keep following me. I do my um, vlog. I'm trying to put out as many as I can just to have fun. Um, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. If you don't, give me a thumbs down. And again, um, if you see something I can do better, leave me a comment. I'm still learning. I'm doing the best I can with what I have to work with. And um, other than that, keep moving forward and no retreat.